Day 10, Spectrum Field. Let's go Phils. Phillies <laughs> are playing. We're gonna catch some balls. It's already been We're a here. long day. <laughs> it's 10 a.m., it's been a long day. We're gonna have a great day today, I believe that. <laughs> Your hair looks good. Let's go Phils. Let's go Phils. The hard part got some sun yesterday. Yeah, it'll do that. Yeah. Do that. You gotta you put suntan lotion <laughs> right down the strip. Too, too horny for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You got me? Okay. We'll call it 6 1. <laughs> Didn't want to mess up the shot. Spectrum Field? Spectrum. I want to say Spectrum Stadium because I'm an alliteration guy, but we'll say Field. This is one of the nicer ones we've been to, probably top three that we've gone to. Big berm. I, the berm's awesome. Big it makes berm. me so mad the places that don't have berms, especially that can easily have when them. When you but can have a berm. When yeah. you can have a berm, have a berm. Ploof, you hit some We're home runs by under Trevor this berm? Give me the mics, guys. This is what the people want. I have hit some home runs here. Yes, I have. Especially onto this berm. Not enough for them to name it after me. That's in, in Target Field they named the berm after me out there. But uh, You ever get worried that you might hit a kid who's not paying attention? No. Okay. No, That's the reason I wouldn't have Don't hit even home think runs. about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well, we're trying to drink. Jake's already we had some sips. We got a pretty sips. lady drink. I, it, I took a little bit to keep it from spilling. It's a banana what you daiquiri. Have? Is that a – that's a yingling. Give me the – Young light. Long. This is a Cigar City High Light. It's a ah. Tampa beer. So we're, we're staying local. That might be the most popular beer in Florida. Like, it's pretty good. Cigar City is around, a big yeah. Around. Cigar City, gross. Cigar City Brewing. Um, banana daiquiri. Jake, how was it? It's pretty good. I uh, I think a lot of people look at me and see banana daiquiri. Oh, I like, I'm a big banana enthusiast, so that's why I got it. Love my butt's, my ass is going to be wet. Are you guys sharing that thing? Yeah. It's yeah. bullshit. <laughs> well, let's sip of that. I do not. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. You these Roosevelt shirts. Shout out Roosevelt. Thank you. Oh, Roosevelt. Should have done that from the start. It's freaking like. Hey, you like bananas, huh? You like banana runts? Mm hmm. I do too. People hate them. I love banana runts. They hate them? They sell just banana runts now. I know a guy that puts banana runts into a drawer in his office and he just keeps them all there because he hates them so much. You're talking about Jake? His name's Sharkman. Sharkman. I'm going to tell you when to watch this video. When Shout I was in out. seventh grade, they had bring your parents to work day or whatever, like you show off what your parents' jobs are. And one lady worked for the Willy Wonka factory. Wow. So I had nerd ropes six months before they went to market. So, <laughs> badass. End of story. What a flex. <laughs> and, and, oh, and they brought the biggest banana runt ever made. That's awesome. I'm yeah. a big banana runt guy. <laughs> I got it. Banana runt just gives me too many jokes. I've got a quick story. This is pretty good. I like you want to put a number on it? I like it. I'm, well, I never, had a, I never had a banana daiquiri before. So I can't base it off anything else. So I'm going to go seven and a half out of ten. I went to the Dominican Republic when I was 13. Mm -hmm. Sick brag. And it was all-inclusive. So I was getting non-alcoholic pina coladas. So I was ripping them. And I'd go non-alcoholic pina colada. Non so by the time, the guy knows me. So I just started saying pina colada. He started making them boozy. 
blasted in the Dominican Republic as a 13-year-old. Follow-up to that, gained 15 pounds on that trip because all I was drinking was pina coladas. Disgusting. High-level athlete. That trip and this trip got brain freeze. have something in common. How many, how many LBs do you think you're up on this trip? Honestly, I've been keeping this diet for the past couple weeks just because I've been busy. So this is just my life now. I think I'm. I think for this trip, I'm honestly flatlining, which is bad. Should we do like a Team oh, John Boy weight loss thing? Oh, my God. Oh, popsicle. hold the phone. He's got a cannon. Take the mic. It's a Rum Runner Popsicle. They have a picture of these popsicles in a drink. And I was like, that looks fun. We'll get that. Yeah. I said, can I get one of those popsicle drinks? She said, what flavor do you want? I said, whatever. She gave me this. I said, where's the drink? She said, you didn't order the drink part. I said, I kind of did. I kind of did. I said, give me that. I pointed out the drink thing. And she's like, what drink do you want it in? It's like my Dominican Republic story. It's tough. Starting pitcher Bryce Wilson getting loose in the outfield. Oh, there's the brain freeze. God damn it. Just relax. Both of you guys need to relax. Rum runner, rum runner popsicle as Jake dies. Ooh, don't like that. Here. Just, come on. This might help. No, it won't. Small brain. Yeah. I hate brain freeze. Big brain freeze. Here, poof. Yeah, let me get some of that. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. Is it boozy? It's supposed to have booze in there, yeah. Does it taste like booze? It tastes like a freezy pop. Not bad. We have been drinking... Non-stop for a week. Orange juice, pineapple, water, spiced rum, cane sugar, bananas, blackberry, brandy, grenadine. It's not good. I don't like it. You want the rest of it? Put a score on it, Jim. Put a score on it. Oh, two. You know what? This is good. Yeah. The more I drink it, it's good. I'm going to up it to an, to an eight. Were any of your teammates six, seven? What is that? What <laughs> like your score on the beer? Six, seven height? Yeah. I don't know. Mike Pelfrey, maybe? Okay. Were any of your teammates uh, six, seven pitchers out of ten? Were you? Like their skill level, you'd put it as Yeah, a- I had a ton of those on the Twins. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How tall were you today? I, I think you got me at 5'7". But I'll go 6'1". Six, 6'1". One. Six, one. Good for you. Six, How is that? <laughs> you just can't stop. It's a popsicle. I didn't like it. I like this a lot. Put that, put that in here now. We've made our own. Eat shit. That's, that's what the picture looked like. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't be getting the coronavirus. All right, this has been over for a while now. I feel like. Yeah, we've been spend saying it's ridiculous right stuff. Now. This is what berm season is like. Berm season <laughs> is the best. <laughs> <laughs> they want to fight. Yes, that. <laughs> Gone. We're at the Phillies game, so naturally we're going to be reviewing. Cheese steak. Cheese stonk. This is a cheese steak. I got a I got a chicken cheese stonk. One chicken cheese steak. No onions. Wow. Mine kind of looks like a tuna salad, which I'm a little worried about. Did we say it's Delco cheese steak? I don't know if I'm just really hungry. This is really good. Like I'm, I'm all about this right now. I was a little worried because it doesn't look like it's got a bunch of cheese on it. It's in there. It's in there. It looks disgusting. It tastes delicious. I agree with that. How's yours? It's good. I am still a little thrown off by the look of it, uh, but it's good. It's good. Like, I feel look, like you get that a lot. I should have went. Oh my. How's that one? It's good. You guys are disgusting. Here, hold the mic. I'm going to eat more. I think it's a little better. That guy was watching? The guy was watching, and then he was not watching. 8.3. Love it. Wow. I'm there. That one's worse. This one's better. Yeah, I'm going. Oh. Get that mouth. Get, a, get, stop get in there. Content. I'm going 6-7 with the chicken chi. I took a chance, and I knew that. Why'd you do that? I like chicken. I like chicken. And I got to show the people, man. Three idiots Diversity. eating cheesesteaks. Cheese this is delicious. Yeah. 
Eight three out of ten. If you're going Philly, you should go cheese. Just cheese stick. I messed up. Eight three for the ch- steak. Six seven for the chicken. High tea. Three five for Jake's brain. We're out. All right, we are here with Good afternoon. Jamie Brooks from Philadelphia. All right. I'm Philly here. Okay. All right. So you saw this cheese steak and you said no, no thank you. I did say no thank you to the cheese steak because I wanted a hoagie. What's what's the number one cheese steak place in Philly? Um, um, we got uh, some other Philly people here. Yeah, hold on. How do you not know that? Delisandro's in Roxborough. Delisandro's. Steve's? Steve's is another one, okay. And what did you get today at the ballpark? So I ordered an Italian hoagie, and I got an Italian sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> now, th- now I'm going to sound a little dumb here. What's the difference? Um, a hoagie is on an – it's the roll. It's the roll. This is That's some French bread right there. I see that. Cuban roll. It's not a hoagie roll. So this is that's like two a slices. A hoagie's the fold and the circular. Oh, uh, okay. Like, like this, this. Like this. Like this. Okay. So in New York, they call it a hero. In Connecticut, they call it a grinder. In Philly, they call it a hoagie. L.A., we call it a Sammy. Boring people up there. Sambo. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, you got a review here? Uh, how about a score? We go one through ten. So I'm going to give it an – I'm going to give it a – I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. Eight. An eight from the crowd. I am going to say that this Your song's on. is a 10. <laughs> Boris Head. Boris Head is always it's good. It's a mustard. Yes. It's like a white wine um, mustard, and it's good, very good. No would you eat the no mustard ads. plain? I would. My girlfriend does that. You should get this with a pretzel. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh, that's our first fan uh, food review. Yes. Thank you very much, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get it in the background. <laughs> We are here in Clearwater, Florida, at the site of the original oh, Hooters. Fucking idiot. We are wrapping up Trevor Plouffe's portion of the trip. One more day for the rest of the gang. A little exit interview. Nine right. days, eight days on the RV with us. Ending it at a Hooters. Fitting. How you feeling? Original Hooters. The original Hooters. I got to be honest with you. I thought that I might be a little bit tired and worn out after all the trips we've done. We've done a lot. But I'm still raring to go. I had a lot of fun. Uh, baseball season's here. I can't wait for the regular season to start. We had a good time at spring training. But like I always tell you guys, it's about this time where it's you're just ready for the regular season to start. I feel that way as a player, and I feel that way now. Well, what was your – Trevor Plouffe, Jake Storielli here at John Boy Media. Hey. What was your low point of the trip? Because I think we all had one. There was one point where I had to lay down for 15 minutes. We saw John Boy in the heat on Red Sox yeah. Day. What would you say your low point of the trip was? Driving in the rain. That was a tough that was one. That high point, I think. Yeah, I, I, we, I overcame that. But uh, I think it was today when we only had a 40-minute drive and we missed, we missed a turn. Hello. We missed <laughs> a – Hello. Hello. We're doing his exit interview. How do you think he did? I think he did really well. Great. Perfect. Good job. I get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, we missed an exit, and it added, <laughs> it added an extra half an hour on our drive. That was a low point. That might have been today. <laughs> that was today. But I, 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 I'm serious. I had a great time, and I, hopefully it comes off in the videos because we, we've been working hard. It's a weird, it's a weird day. Because at the end of the day, you're like, holy shit, we just did a 12-hour day. But within those 12 hours, it's like just fun. Yeah, we had a ton Every of fun. Every day was three days. You, When we would look at the end-of-day recaps, I was literally shocked that we <laughs> did stuff that day. All day. But it was fun. We talked baseball. We, we saw the parks. We talked to people. We uh, Hopefully, we showed that baseball is thriving. A lot of youth out there loves baseball. I can't believe there's another month. Of spring training for these players. I told you guys. Now you get it. Now you yeah. get it. What did uh, what'd you learn from the fan perspective? I think there's people need to get creative when they go to the parks. Like if you're worried about expenses, there's ways to get around that. But I would say always plan ahead. Sunscreen's a, <laughs> sunscreen's a must. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I think we need to make a beer on the berm shirt. Yeah, berms are key. If there's any time. I would do standing only tickets if there was a berm. That's where I would sit every time. Then you just hunt shade if you if it's too sunny for the berm. Sure. Cool. 
feels right being here. Spring training, original Hooters. It's the end of the trip, but spring training signifies one thing. The beginning of baseball season. We got a lot of shit going on this year, so this is only the, the beginning. And you, you dove into media, and now you're about to take the deep dive into coaching. Any thoughts on that? Coaching Little League is tough. Four-year-olds? Yeah, I got four- and five-year-olds tomorrow. What's I'll be plan? there. What's the game plan? My only goal is for them to not hit each other with the bat. That and uh, keep your hands to yourself. That's Those are my two rules. Okay. Coronavirus. I didn't even think about that. It's more like just stop touching each other and, and like, horsing around and listen to Coach Trev. Just like this trip. Yeah. yeah basically, I've, I've practiced with you guys all week. I should be locked in tomorrow. All right. Well, cheers. So good. You kind of learn how to uh, space out your workload. Uh, you know, maybe play like three innings one game, and the next day play five, and a couple off days. And I got my first show cut. Yeah. And we were at, Andy Fade. We were at oh. Twins oh, Camp. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'm the hard part. I'm a yeah, hard first hard oh, part of. We told yeah, Andy yeah. Fade to do whatever he wanted. Bro. Are you yeah. you a big haircut guy, or what, what's yeah, what's the Toronto haircut? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just got it. Okay. okay. Higher. Oh, shit. Higher. Pick it up, Joe's. Here he comes. There he is. He's on the phone. Looks upset. <laughs> Watch your shins! Watch your shins! What up? I seen the video. I seen the video. <laughs> what's up? What up? What up? Yeah, keep, oh, what's yeah, good, man? Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Yo, you left them. Um, big fella. You left this guy hanging the other day. Uh, Mate, I left Stucco out. Yeah, I was like, uh, damn! I can't believe I was, trying, I was showing him something <laughs> like, oh, this At like this that. point, it's like, yo, I want to go home. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can I sit on it while it's moving? You guys hungry? Starving, yes. man. We just ate at Taco Dirty, as recommended by my very close friend and doppelganger, Tyler Wade. It was good. And look what we got, man. We're squad. We got more talking Yanks people. We just roll deep. That's all we do. The Taco Dirty people were excited to see us. One guy asked if I work for the Phillies. I said yes, I play for the Phillies. Um, so yeah, man. We're... Times are high right now. We'll see where we finish the night.